Okay, uh, creating reflection uh, effect on to your text. Okay, on the screen here, uh, this is done in Corel Draw, and if you take a look at the, the text here, you can in Corel you can make a fake reflection or a, a reflection effect, same like this. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that thing. Okay, just delete this first, and then delete this. Okay. Now let's go and type reflection. The word reflection. And I'll make it bigger. Okay. I'll just choose a font. Okay, say I'll choose that font. Okay, I'll zoom in here. Okay, now I'm gonna put an outline. So you go to your outline tool, click on first first let's put a fill on it. So you see I'll fill. Now go to outline the first tool outline pen dialog or F12 and let's make it 8 points thickness and then uh, this one is important you have to put behind fill okay make sure that click on behind fill so that the outline will go outside and not inside of your text and then click OK okay that looks fine so now we're going to put a gradient fill onto the text so you go to your fill tool and go to the second option which is the fountain field dialog box okay, I want it from uh, from red to yellow and going up so I'll just type in here 90 degrees and uh, that's it now the only thing you have to do here is we're going to mirror this one okay so in order to do that you click on the text Okay, and then you duplicate it. Now you can always go edit, duplicate. But the problem in edit, duplicate, it the off there is an offset distance. Okay, but if you want to duplicate an object or a text without an offset distance, here's what you do. So you click on the text, and in your key keyboard, you key click on the plus sign. The plus sign. Okay, so when you click on the plus sign and when I say the plus sign in your keyboard that's the one in your right side you know the ones with the numbers uh, the big uh, plus sign uh, uh, key you know where you have those number seven eight nine four five six okay so that's the uh, the shortcut key and then you can move this one this node move it down like this And then make sure here, yeah, zoom in here, make sure it doesn't touch the C, so you can go like that, okay, so you don't touch the C on that one, okay. Now, here's a fast way, okay, so you click on this one, and then you go to your transparency tool, so interactive transparency tool, you know, the, the, one the icon with the wine glass, so you click that, and then click up to down. then you can adjust the opacity of it okay I'll go this way zoom out move this over there you go so now I have reflection now the only thing I have to do here is I'm going to make this one um, like I'm gonna skew it this way so you click on the text the um, frosted text and you go to effects add perspective so when you click on add perspective it's going to have these nodes here so you just drag the nodes like that from this side and drag the node coming that side and then we can always adjust the the transparency by moving this box and then dragging this box and there you go and to put more effect I'll just put a background here put a gray background remove the outline click on the X and then go to arrange order back to the page there you go reflection simple but nice 